gonna tell you one thing right now, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this camera right now and I'll tell you something about Saddle Tramp, man. Listen up, baby. Saddle Tramp is an amazing human being. He's got a light body, uh, like a like a gymnast. And when I hold it close to mine, I can experience his strength. You guys should too. I sure am glad I know how to edit. <laughs> how's it going hey check out the mess I made check see that <laughs> uh, I just figured I'd cut to the chase and tell you a little bit about why I'm tearing apart a perfectly good functioning soft tail actually not to really tearing it apart but uh, I said in the last video well not the last video but two videos ago that we do plan to go to Forgotten Angels and this is the bike that I want to ride uh, I haven't ridden it on a trip in a long time and I got to thinking about what could I do to this motorcycle that I can feel somewhat assured that we'll get there and back at least better odds not that I distrust the bike but anyway what I did is that it's got two brand new tires that one that one back there and they both have the exact same mileage on them which hardly ever happens and I got also to thinking that well the charging system well it's got the original well not anymore I took it out but it was running the original OEM stator and regulator there's a lot of miles on that stator and regulator. Harley Davidsons are also so famous for their charging systems of going out. And I just don't want that to happen again, going back down to Florida like it did on my electric glide since that charging system failed and I had to fix that. The electric glide at the time was running a cycle electric stator, but I never changed the regulator out. So I got to thinking, well, I don't want to gamble it, even though I wasn't really losing faith in my charging system. But I went ahead and had Kenny over at Scooters order me a brand new stator, a cycle electric stator, and also a cycle electric regulator. So I figure we will have two parts with the same amount of miles, the same manufacturer, and plus, you know, I know that everything that man makes breaks, but being that it's cycle electric, I tend to put a lot of stock in them. Uh, not financially, but just I tend to trust them the best because from what I know, they are top of the line. After all, that's the kind of system I have in the Electric Glide and the Iron Head. It's got a cycle electric, you know, generator and regulator on that. And the Shovel Head got it too. So let's make the soft tail that, right? So anyway, as I pull the stator out, I don't know if you can notice a difference. Uh, I don't know if the lighting will do much good, but uh, check this out. Okay, here they are. This is that's the new one, and that's the old one. And I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it, it was already well, the lighting's not that good, so let me try this. These are already starting to show some discoloration, and it, it's not the oil or the debris, it's, it's you know, because I've wiped it off and it's still grayish looking. Oh, right, you got some down here that are nice and perfectly still copper, which usually when these things go out, you'll have a couple of these coils that'll burn up and it'll just turn black. Well, these kind of look like they might be on their way to doing that eventually. So I'm kind of feel good about pulling it out because I was kind of hoping that I hope it's bad so I can feel good about it. But it's not bad. I mean, it's still running. And also I bought a new one of these, you know, a compensator with springs. This is actually the one I pulled out. This is actually it. And it's making noise. I can I can get the springs to make noise. It's not that bad. I mean, it could probably still work, but I went ahead and bought a new uh, compensator. When those springs start to make noise, the thing is bad. It's not as bad as some of them that I have seen. So anyway, so new stator, new regulator, and new compensator, and new oil. Yeah, because I have brand new engine oil, brand new transmission fluid, or actually it's not even Harley. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a bottle of Lucas, you know, kind of stuff you put in tractors. But hey, a gearbox is a gearbox. So without any more yammer in my hammer, I'm going to get busy.
Okay, got the motorcycle back down to the earth. And here's what I'm going to do. Check it out. I've got my multimeter hooked up to the battery. And so far it's reading almost 13 volts. 12.98. Might as well be 13. Which makes me pretty happy that my battery is happy. You know, I don't know when the last time it was when I bought the battery for this bike. I know it wasn't too long ago, but it's got to be more than a year. So I got a pretty good battery. But anyway, I want to fire the motorcycle up and that voltage changes. In other words, it goes up. The charging system works, which it ought to. It's brand new. But, you know, you'll see what I mean. Well, looks like the new charging system works. So, here it is, ready to go. And uh, hopefully nothing else happens. I've got an extra 30 amp breaker in the saddlebag. That's the best I can do. We are several miles into the trip. I'm not quite sure how far we've gone. Oh well, yeah, I am. Several hundred. <laughs> but here we are stuck in the middle. Not really stuck, but we're in the middle of Podunk somewhere in America on some small two-lane highway. Uh, trying to avoid the interstates as much as possible because they're just not as much fun. But sometimes you got to get on them when you got to get on them. You know, you guys who travel, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, so far, uh, charging system is doing well, obviously, because, you know, I'm several miles into it and as you guys saw you know the voltage reading but nevertheless um, gotta get gas you know as always can't quite go all the way to Tampa on five gallons of gas so anyway without any further blah 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 and the battery is just about spent on this camera and I have no way to charge it until I stop for the night somewhere um, anyway you guys get the picture And buenos dias amigos, it's the next morning and uh, we're going to beat feet today on how to uh, tear down a campsite, you know, in a hurry so we can make good time today for the rest of the trip down there. So uh, anyway, so, so it's pretty cold out here right now. I had a little bit of sleep. My feet wouldn't stay warm. <laughs> That's amazing what you can't do like sleep when your feet are not warm. But I had to put this thing on with the hood because my head was cold, so it got a little colder than expected. I don't know what the temperature is, but I don't want to know either because I, <clears throat> because I don't want my mind on how uncomfortable I am because this is all part of it. So I'm gonna quit yammering and we're gonna take the stuff down and get moving. Okay, we made it, and I didn't get any footage of us riding. You know why? Because by the time I went to pick up this camera this morning, it died. All three batteries. What a way to start a vlog, right? Whenever you don't have any batteries. Just leave the house with uncharged batteries. So we got here safe and sound. Uh, it was quite the trip. Um, just got my batteries charged for this camera. So I don't know what the trip is going to entail. We got some people that have showed up. The event's going to be a little different than usual i guess and it'll be interesting to see you know 
other than the hardcores that tend to show up every time, uh, you know, like these guys over here, you know, they're always going to be here, right? So, <laughs> anyway, I don't know, let's see what happens. We uh, bring a uh, beer, you know, down. We chase some whiskey. We uh, have we fun. Hey, I'm Ray Gregory Rides. I'm a motorcycle blogger. Come over and visit my channel. Right. Link down below or go to that link that right up way. there. Yeah. <laughs> Dirty Motorcycle Vagabond. That's right. That's how, that's how you say it. that. Some of you new subscribers that don't know this guy, what do you do? I live off the back of a bike, basically, and travel to exotic countries and try to learn languages and eat really weird foods. Right. Yeah. Dig it. And also what it's like to experience the essence of Eric. That is uh, like one of my actual nightmares. <laughs> that, that much test hair on a stripper hole. <laughs> Check this out, she is filming me while I'm filming her. This is uh, who is known as Little Red Rider on YouTube land from Hi. British Columbia, Canada. So tell the people what you do. Um, I ride bikes and I fix them because they're shovel head. Well, one of them is a shovel head. Of course. And I just make little videos doing whatever I do. Watch Saddle Tramp videos, come to Forgotten Angels for the first time. And, um... and then stuff. And then stuff. Yeah, just whatever I'm doing. I yeah, do. you, you heard that. So her link's down below too. So go check it out. Subscribe and like and everything she does. 